stinky, disgusting, inevitable. Look at him. He's glorious. Tamakan offers the fantasy of building a warband from scratch. Good work, Kaisk. I couldn't ask for a better right hand thing. But he also has these kind of nurgly abilities which make him really disgusting and awesome. Tamakan the Maggot Lord's reeking corpse has puppeted many powerful and grotesque faces, but none have served him quite like Karaka Break Mountain. It is in this ogre tyrant's decaying flesh that Temekin seeks to gather a great horde and fulfill a twisted prophecy of disease and desolation. Ah, delusions of grandeur and questionable hygiene, my kind of legendary lord. We're diving into Temekin's Immortal Empires campaign with ambitions of painting the world green as Nurgle's favoured. We're kicking off in Kudatha smack bang in the middle of the northern chaos waste and we're already running into some angry Norskans. Must be the smell. I'd apologise, but I, I'm not sorry. Because what's there to be sorry about? Look at him! He's glorious! A solid set of starting abilities makes Temekin a formidable, putrid melee force. Feast of the Maggot Lord is particularly interesting to me because popping back up after dying to surprise and harass the enemy general, well, it's just good fun. Coupled with the Maggot Lord trait and a minus three to wound recovery time, and you're looking at a playstyle that speaks to my soul. Reckless, disgusting chaos. We'll learn more about Temekin's infectious inspiration soon, but for now, we've got a garden to build, so we'll construct some weeping creepers for the bonus to growth. Worth noting here, as part of the Nurgle alterations, only military buildings now feature the cycle mechanic to address player feedback that it wasn't great for Nurgle's economy. For an in-depth dive into the changes, check out the links below to read the blog. Much like a garden, a dependable economy relies on stability and an inexhaustible supply of fertilizer. And with that in mind, let's go beat the first laser out of these Norskans. Tamakan's whole inspiration was the Throne of Chaos novel. The DLC is even named after it in Thrones of Decay. And in that, he builds this huge warband to try to destroy the Empire. And this time, maybe you can make him a bit more successful. He comes with all these really exciting units that I think Nurgle players have been dying to get their hands on. So yeah, he's definitely going to fill some holes in that roster. Tamakan is a really tanky character who has a lot of weapon strength that he can bring to bear against single targets. Where he kind of falls down is uh, when he's surrounded by many other kind of smaller targets that deal anti-large damage or when he's shot at from a distance. The Nurgle tech tree has been rebuilt from the ground up. Currently it's all about Kugas Realms of Chaos experience where we wanted it to be more dynamic that works for every Nurgle character. We reworked elements of the Nurgle feature set because we thought the theme was there, but maybe it just needed to be dialed up to 11. We designed Tamakan to be this big bruiser beat stick. Swapping bodies feels like it loses a little bit of that fantasy for how we'd envisioned him. And the chieftains kind of carry where he can't quite handle himself. Good work, Kaisk. I couldn't ask for a better right hand thing. Okay, our garden's growing nicely. We're pushing into the blood marshes and our liquefying mouth plague is ravaging the withering fortress. That's a tongue twister. As part of the Nurgle changes, we've addressed feedback that should make plagues more experimental and less min-maxi, so you feel like a real pox brewer. Unfortunately for us, I don't have enough infections right now. Dang. Mm, actually, doesn't matter. Our latest conquest has put us in a position to recruit new hideous help. Temekin's chieftains are a ragtag band of bile and boils, lord to the master of hosts undeniable dominance. These festering heroes join our cause, bringing with them loyal soldiers from their own cultures. Kaisk the Befouled, Nurgle's legendary hero, has already embedded himself in our army and offers powerful units in exchange for a cost of dominance which is earned through battles and events. Our conflict with the Norskan Kurs has won us Kaisk's continuous loyalty, in turn unlocking additional boons and powerful campaign abilities. Joining Kaisk is Kargan the Crazed, Katezak Fimderak, Mornhow, Grokma Freehorn, and Ezar Doombolt. All heroes with their own merits, and we'll need to call on each of them to build our unending host. With their own petty grievances to satisfy, Temekin's chieftains will influence the flow of our campaign, but earning their ultimate devotion will be a bloody affair, though well worth the effort. More chieftains info shortly, but for now, I spy with my decaying eye Skaven ruins to the south, and if I know my immortal empire's geography, we can expect Boris's Kislevites beyond the blood marshes. Hmm, Skaven or Kislev? Ezar or Kargan. Hmm, we'll get to both eventually, and Kargan's hell cannons are tempting, but the coward in me is crying out for some better ranged units. 
Let's recruit Ezar Doombolt into our merry band and use our remaining dominance to purchase a unit of Chaos Dwarf blunderbusses. With some angry Dwarven engineering behind us, we'll make short work of the inferior war host. <laughs> short work, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm super excited for the Chieftain's Mechanic because it allows you to build a bit of a bonkers brigade. Lots of different flavours of Chaos all under the Nurgle banner. It was inspired by his story, which was uniting different tribes of Chaos and flavours of Chaos, so we thought it was important to bring to the game. Tamakan's campaign playstyle has him roaming around the, the Warhammer map and bringing in all these different cultures in the form of these Chieftains. And in battle, these Chieftains augment Tamakan's own abilities to smash up enemy armies and cause a lot of devastation. Tamakan at his core is still a Nurgle faction. The extra units from different uh, rosters are unique even from some of the ones we've done before. So no one's ever had access to Chaos Dwarves mixed with Nurgle. The Chieftain mechanic is about gaining the fealty of the other flavors of Chaos, getting the best of them and making the ultimate war host. Oh, Kaisk's by far my favorite. He's got Toad Dragons, what's not to look? Toad Dragons, the perfect remedy for backstabbing Grimgore. Whilst we were busy with Boris, Mr. Ironhide trampled our garden, yet I'm struggling to be upset. Ezar don't much fancy your kind, and he's been positively popping with excitement and overflowing with fealty with each volley of his Doombolt. We've got dominance growing out of our boils, and we're going to use it to field a few Dreadquake Mortars. I told you, Grimgore, we Greenskin should stick together, but no. Look what you've made me do. Elsewhere, our Kizavite conflict has made Kargan crazed with love for Tamakan, so we'll activate his March of the Crazed ability to refill his army's campaign movement and begin the Siege of Karak Vrag ahead of Tamakan's slow arrival. That's a lot of orcs, so we've split into four fronts. Kargan and our Chaos Lord are leading the main bulk, and across the way, we've got one small army and a pair of lonely siege engines. With Tamakan's reinforcements incoming, we've tricked Grimgore into leaving a section of his wall poorly defended. Our plague bearers are about to climb the wall, so we'll have our Chaos Sorcerer of Nurgle give them a little something to take the edge off any nasty swords they might encounter. A touch of leprosy should do it. Chaos Sorcerer of Nurgle is a mortal spellcaster that brings the laws of death and the laws of Nurgle to the Nurgle roster in a nicely armoured package. There he is. Tamakan joins the party, so we'll link our cavalry units up with the main bulk. When the gates are down, our bio trolls will be first through the breach. Bio trolls are a nurgly twist on the idea of a chaos troll. They have this ability which allows them to debuff enemy melee defense, which allows all of your nurgle units to really hit a lot more reliably. Walls mounted. Gates coming down. The plague can be slowed but never stopped. Who better to spread Nurgle's gift than Kaisk the Befouled? Kaisk the Befouled is this kind of rotting champion of Nurgle. He rides a rot beast, you don't get him on foot. He's fast, he's agile, he's really not what you'd expect from a Nurgle character, which makes him really interesting. With chieftains in mind, I wonder how Kargan's doing. As you were, Kargan, good work. I'm gonna go play with the Toad Dragons. The Toad Dragon is the big bad beastie for the Nurgle roster. It excels at dealing with large groups of infantry and smashing through the enemy battle lines. Whilst Temekin and the Toad Dragons break their lines, Azar and his blunderbusses mop up the stragglers, and we deploy some of our heaviest hitters. The regiments of renown for Nurgle are the Rotting Riders, who are a unit of Rot Knights. The Angels of Decay, which are a unit of Plague Drones. And Noxbringer, who is a Soul Grinder. My favorite out of these regiments of renown are the Rotting Riders. These Kurgan horsemen have followed Kaisk since the beginning, but they were once esteemed knights. Reinforcements, eh? Hmm, I think not.
Bubalos feeds on a buffet of orcs. More fertilizer for the garden. Our war host grows with our fealty and begs the question, who do we recruit next? First impressions? Favourite chieftain? Let us know in the comments below or follow our links to wishlist now.